everyone, this is IoT Forge News Digest, the bite-sized podcast where we dive into the latest in IoT, robotics, embedded devices and all the smart things shaping our world today. I'm your host, Pavel Korshinov. Today is Tuesday, September 16th, and this is our 18th episode. Let's get started. These days, robotics goes hand-in-hand hand with AI. We are talking about edge data analysis machine vision, control algorithms. But there is another direction that's slowly gaining traction. OpenAI is hiring robotics. Not as a side project, but as a core bet. Because maybe AGI, artificial general intelligence, won't just come from bigger models. Maybe it needs algorithms that can touch the physical world. And the job adds. They are telling mechanical engineers, actuators, motors, gears, limbs, sensor experts, force, touch, proprioception, simulation builders, NVIDIA, ISAAC, SIM, Unity, even open source engines. Remember Mujoko? We talked about it in episode 11. OpenAI even had a Python library for it back in 2017. That's rapper dead now. Mujoko ships with its own bindings. But it shows one thing. OpenAI robotics push is not new. So what is the takeaway for us, engineers? This is just the beginning. NVIDIA is axi. ROS, Mujoko, Unity, Unreal. These are not just the tools. Maybe this is your ticket to shaping the future of AGI. Since we brought up NVIDIA in the context of simulation, let's talk about their newest brains for robots, the NVIDIA Jetson Tor models. They are not just dev boards. They are designed to be the brains of robotic systems, from researcher labs to industrial floors. Robots live on sensor data, cameras, lidar, tactile arrays, all of it streaming at once. And to make sense of that fluid, you need serious AI compute right at the edge, with almost zero latency. That's where JSON Tor comes in. Now generally available, it delivers 7.5 times more AI compute, 3.1 times the CPU performance, and double the memory compared to JSON Orin. Enough horsepower to run multiple real-time applications, all on device. Sounds amazing, right? Well, here's the catch. And NVIDIA press release never mentioned it, but the Jetson Tor dev kit, it costs 14 times the price of Jetson or a Nano dev kit. 3500 versus just 250. So yeah, as powerful as Jetson Tor sounds, I think I will hold off. At least I hit the wall, hopefully not literally, with my Jetson Nano Oren kit. Until then, no upgrade. I'll just quiz the every last cycle out of this little board that could. While NVIDIA Jetson is becoming the obvious choice for robots, Raspberry Pi keeps holding ground in places where running heavy AI models locally isn't really a priority. Let's take synthesizers, for example. That little leak you just heard, it was played on Zintheon, an open source platform running on a 10 years old Raspberry Pi 3. It's free as in freedom, packed with more than 30 synth engines, over 500 artifacts, a live looping station, and whole lot more. And the best part, plug and play. I downloaded the image this morning, flashed it to the SD card and start making noises. Zero configuration steps. Okay, I was using onboard audio with a headphone output, which is not exactly hi-fi, but hey, it was cost me nothing. Of course, there is always room for better, especially if you're ready to pay more. Let's take Cork. Their flagship digital synths, Wave State, Mod Wave, 
op 6, all powered by state-of-the-art Japanese design. And inside, not some custom silicon, but a Raspberry Pi Compute Model 3. Why? Cork's engineer Andy Leary put it simply. The Pi gave them CPU, RAM and storage in a single package. Like any other component, he said, we don't have to design the board, build it, test it. The part's already done. And the magic? The Pi isn't just inside, it's actually making the sound. Dan Phillips from Cork said it best. Not everyone realizes that Raspberry Pi is what's generating the sound. We use the Computer Model 3 because it's powerful enough to create deep, compelling instruments. But you don't have to be Cork to sleep computer model inside musical instrument. Meet Sergei Antonovich. He took an ordinary chromatic accordion, Bayan, and gave it a digital soul. Inside, he embedded a Raspberry Pi Compute Model 3 Plus, running fluid scenes as a real-time MIDI engine. The result? A fully self-contained accordion with studio-quality sound and just 3 milliseconds of latency. That's competitive with dedicated hardware scenes. No trailing cables. No bulky external gear. Everything. Electronics, audio, media. Tucked neatly inside the accordion itself. And it's powerful, capable of handling 46 simultaneous notes, responding instantly to button presses, and even syncing digital voices with the natural motion of the bellows. Sergei calls it proof that open, flexible tools like Raspberry Pi can turn even the most traditional instrument into the stage-ready digital hybrids. Alright, little quiz for you. We said NVIDIA Jetson, Raspberry Pi. What comes next? Of course, ESP32. More specifically, the brand new M5 Stack Card Computer Advanced. This is the upgraded version of their pocket-sized computer. Compared to the first card computer, the advanced model brings a better keyboard with improved tactile feel, 14 pins expansion port compatible with the optional cap LoRa 868 accessory for mesh tastic communication, and improved 750 mA battery, and enhanced audio ES8311 audio codec with 3.5 mm headphone jack for external audio devices. It's still card sizes, still ultra portable, but now feels more like a real daily driver for prototyping IoT, dashboards, or even edge AI demos. And there is my thoughts. With a proper headphone out on board, this tiny computer might just be the next candidate to turn into the pocket synthesizer. And that's where we will wrap it up today, from OpenAI's robotic push to NVIDIA TORS. To Raspberry Pi sneaking into scenes, even the tiny ESP32 card Peter, the future of intelligent machines is getting closer, smaller, and a lot more musical. Thanks for tuning in. Catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.